Well, prepare yourself, guys. Once again, I am Chris Fagan. Welcome to another episode of Talking Through the Media. This is a special episode that I'm doing because I have a special guest of, of very talented, very funny young ladies. With okay. me, and <laughs> we are about to talk about. If you've read the title of this video, you're, you're probably like, oh, it's about to go down. So uh, <laughs> I have from the More Than Vaginas podcast. Mm -hmm. team. I'm going to let them introduce themselves because I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't learn everybody's name, so I'm going to learn for the first time. And they're going to put me on the spot. That's you know, all right. How you, how you not just going to know my name and you're going to have no <laughs> so. It's a lot of us. It's it's it's, it's not that many it's of us, the, Momo. You know, I mean, you know, it's okay. So my name is Momo. My name is Varnessa. Momo. And I'm Teresa. Momo. And we are the three hosts of More Than Vaginas podcast. Yeah. And... I found I found you guys. Let me put the uh, the split screen on because I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna try to be fancy. You see, we got we got. That's okay, fancy. They got, Ooh. And they, okay, from their side of it. Now this this screen right here is gonna go between uh, Momo, Vanessa, and uh, Teresa. Teresa. I should mm -hmm. remember that. I know I know <laughs> Teresa and, and if my cousin if I forget my cousin's name, I'm I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> But That's a good way to remember it. But we're gonna, yeah, but we're gonna talk about the, the the subject of prenup. Would you yes. sign one? And how how do we even come up with this? Is just something that just that just kind of uh, came up because from my end of it. It was a video that a friend of mine named Tiffany Castleberry. She did a reaction to a, a Bill Burr comedy stand up comedy video, and in the middle of the video. She mentioned, why, why don't you just get a, a prenup? Because she, she was talking about relationships. And I thought, you know what? This might be a good topic to, to talk about with, with you guys, if, uh, among other things. But I thought this was a Who better topic. than us? You know? It, More no, than Vaginas podcast? Yeah, like, yeah it was a good topic. Because we did post it up on the Instagram and we got a whole bunch of like comments. A whole bunch of people. A lot of different. So y'all never talked about this on the podcast before? We haven't actually. No. no. And it's probably in the bowl of birth somewhere. Yeah. So we have a segment. We have a segment called Bowl of Birth where we pick a topic spontaneously and then just talk about it for a little bit. And um, it's just a random, you know, it just randomized. And we haven't got to it. But so, this is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> there might be a part two. Right. <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, on yeah, more than vaginas. Yep. I mean, uh, yeah, definitely. This this is a type of a conversation that um, I think every every couple should have, especially if there's a, uh, a like a, what they say, what they call that, a, a power dynamic. Is that from using mm, that right. word? Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Like, look, I wouldn't mind signing one. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to just start off right, right off the bat. If she makes more money right. than me, if she was a millionaire, came in, as long as, as long as the agreement just acknowledged that as long as if I if I put in my work and gave her my skills and my talents that I would be taken care of, <laughs> hey, that's, that's, just, that's just a little preview True. Of, of where I'm at with that. But what about you guys? Where where are you guys at on this on this level? Um. Okay. Well, I guess I'll start. Um. Out of the three of us, I'm the I'm the one in a very long term relationship, and so uh, personally, I don't mind signing one either you know to me in my perspective it's more of i don't think a prenup is necessary for every couple right um i i feel like if it's if it's uh if it fits in the situation that the couple is in um then i feel like it's uh it's appropriate then i would say yes go about your business each each uh each person get yourself a lawyer and find out you know you know go through the terms and um you know figure out what is best for the both of y'all and fair but what, especially but what if the situation is that he just stings you he just what he just stingy. being stingy oh <laughs> we'll see then you have to understand where you are as a couple like if if you really feel like he's just stingy then i guess it's just up to the person but personally for me it's like it, if it has to deal with with assets and property and just the money you made together or separately because it's it 
I understand if that person wants to protect the stuff that they have. And for me too, like if I'm the person with the with the assets and stuff, I would want to protect it too. Because at the end of the day, sure. Everybody says if you go into love or if you're in love, you should it shouldn't matter and stuff like that. But anything can happen. Anything can happen. Nothing is guaranteed. Um, so it's like I it, it is a it is a more safer, you know, option to pull out if it's, it is appropriate with the relationship. I'm not saying like every couple should do it. Like, right. hey, I got some student bills. You got some student bills. I got a car. Your name is in the apartment. I'm not saying for that. I'm saying like literally talking about assets and and money, like the financial aspect of it. So. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think if the guy's being stingy, I don't know. That's that's something where you got to take it to the bank. Because especially, I mean, it's different if, if, if you started together and neither one of you had anything and then you grew something together, I think. And, and there wasn't necessarily a prenup in, in, in place beforehand. And you try to be stingy. I feel like that, that's when it becomes. That's why the the issue the issue of a prenup is always because somebody feels like they're going to be unfairly treated at you know at the end of a relationship, um, at the end of a marriage specifically. But I think when it comes to like one person or the other, not even just a guy like or a woman being stingy, if they came into it with nothing, I think that's wrong. Um, and I think that. Um, you know, you probably wouldn't even think to do a prenup if you both had nothing. You probably would maybe do like something like a postnuptial agreement after the fact if y'all had money. Um, but I think after the fact is, is fucking, it's, I mean, it's shitty. Like, it's like yeah. you wouldn't wanna. But were we talking about after the fact or before marriage though? But it's like, you know, prenuptial, postnuptial agreement, like, you know, they fall along the same line. Like, you know, you would probably do a postnuptial agreement if if one of you came into like a large sum of money and you were like, all right, let's, you know, a lawyer would probably advise you like, hey, like, you know, mm -hmm. you have a lot of money now. Now it's time to like try to decide mm -hmm. like if something happens between you two, like how would you want to divide right. the assets? So you're saying it's not fair if you guys are already married and then um, something happens with one of y'all. Uh -huh. And then he decides, because listen, I, in a way, I want to protect myself. At the same time, I want to make sure you're good too. Because I feel that's why there's a lot of factors into it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, know. I don't think it would be fair to, after the fact, I don't think it would be fair to be like, all right, I'm only giving you this amount. It's like, if you got it after we were already married, you need to split it down the middle. Why? You need to split it down because, because. it's a marriage because it, you're splitting the asset, especially if you have kids, especially if you have, if you live together or whatever, it's like you split it down the middle. It's an equal division of assets. You, it, I don't think it's, I don't think it should be like, oh, I like, especially if it's like one of those situations, like you yourself have talked about a situation, the situation with your friend, right? Imagine if she had a prenuptial agreement that made it so that he had to give her a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. I bet you ass he would he wouldn't have have been so quick to leave. He would have tried to find a way to not, you know, to work within the relationship or to make sure that he cuz he would have had to pay, but now he gets to wash his hand of it and not have to pay any money or do anything, right? Cuz there's no Cause now, there was no agreement. But there's no agree there's no agreement, but I think it's still but that's you know like it's just messy. Just to just to clarify, Chris, the, the situation that she's talking about is I know somebody that they have three kids and they've been married for about six years, seven years, and the guy basically wants to leave to his college love. You know what I mean? Like his his uh, you know college sweetheart. College sweetheart, I guess right. you could say. And then he was willing to give her the house for the kids and everything, and he he would still get her money for the kids and all that but she didn't want to leave the relationship still um but in a but in a prenup there are clauses where it's like if it's like for infidelity you you gotta and i'm sure that that's not that's not a split down the middle like he's gonna be giving her he's gonna be supporting a whole new family soon probably because he's leaving so her. so basically basically what you're saying prenuptial is is, is beneficial Pre sometimes it can be beneficial right like if you're in a situation where in that right where it's like oh i know that you're gonna have to give me a certain amount of money but sometimes it's not beneficial because what if the prenuptial agreement 
right was based off of the assets you had at a certain time because sometimes they'll be like oh like you'll get whatever like fifty thousand dollars in alimony whatever well, was that the situation is. with your friend was that was that or there a situation no where there was, was no prenuptial agreement or anything it's not okay. but he just gets to wash his hands of it and decide oh yeah you can have the house but how she's never worked a day in her life so how is she going to pay the bills he's going to give whatever so now she's going to have to especially in a situation where one part one half of the the family unit wasn't working it wasn't like it was too that is one of those situations where i think a prenuptial agreement i don't know depending on the terms of it i don't know if it would be beneficial or hurtful right because let's say he comes into a whole bunch of money and now she's still getting the same whatever ten thousand whatever twenty thousand dollars that you know she's getting an alimony but he's making way more money and she's suffering because there are situations like that where now you know the guy has left the husband has left and the woman has been left with the brunt of you know uh, uh of of having to deal with like caring for the kids and and because there was a prenuptial agreement she couldn't even fight for more money or or, right? or vice versa now what if what if, okay, what if, what if, right. what if she vice making versa. all that add the vice versa all right okay <laughs> vice versa which but it is more rare you only rare. i think you only find those situations in like celebrity situations where it's like people have so much money or you marry into money right. but in those situations but, I mean, but I, I'm, a, I'm a feminist so i believe that there are a lot of I, I would get in a relationship <laughs> where she was making all that money because i wouldn't care cooking and cleaning and cooking and cooking. I don't, i'm just i'm just that type of brother i'm like i'm gonna do whatever it takes to keep her happy i'm like mm. to keep her happy. <laughs> whatever i gotta do baby I feel you on that. <laughs> like ali wong said the only man that leaves leaves free uh, uh leaves a woman that makes more money than him is a man that doesn't like free money <laughs> so that's yeah yeah the things i would do to keep that house a happy home you just don't know. <laughs> you just don't don't this underestimate me <laughs> but this what about true. you what are you what are you thinking so i feel like prenups all right you have mentioned stingy right and <laughs> like if you just gonna be stingy then I'm going to be stingy as well. If you going to be petty, I'm going to be petty as well. And if that's the case, then we don't need to be in that type of relationship okay. where we're talking about marriage and we're talking about division of assets. But when you brought up prenup, it brought me back to that. There was like this episode of Sex in the City, right? Where Charlotte, she was getting married to this man who, you know, his family's affluent and stuff like that. He's a doctor. And his mom presented her with the prenup, mm. right? And so Charlotte was just like looking at the prenup and she had one of, um, she had Miranda look at it and Miranda was like, you know, th these terms and conditions, like they're typical for a prenup from a family like this, right? right? So Charlotte had to kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? like I guess rebut like rebut with a different or come back with a different offer or something like that right so basically saying like if she left or if the marriage if they oh, got divorced to, uh, then to, she, to counter to give like a counter yes offer, yeah. counter mm -hmm. so if she left like if for whatever reason they got divorced she would only leave with a certain amount right. after a couple of years right right so she went back to the mother and was like no I'm worth a million dollars if we if we Divorce, I'm worth a million. Right. I'm not worth this little like whatever this whatever the chump change was that the mom right. gave her in the prenup. And I was just like, yo, that's bomb. Because right. it's true, because as somebody else, regardless man or woman, you also need to know your worth coming into the marriage. I don't think anybody enters a prenup thinking that things are gonna go left. Right. Right? Um, some people do. Some people do. Some people think but, that, oh, just because I'm signing a prenup, you're thinking we're already going to break up. You know what no, I mean? No, some people do think Some people do think that, but I don't like the good in me. <laughs> <laughs> which is rare. <laughs> like, which is rare because like, I want to think of the best of people, right? And I just want to think, you know, it's just like, it's kind of like, you know, it's just a safety net. Right. Just, to, you know, just in case. But this is not like, my intention is not to come into this marriage so we can split split right. yeah but you know the safety net has a hole in it like. but that's the thing that's why i say that it it's all circumstantial mm -hmm. circumstantial is depends on the situation who has what and everything and like i said each each party has to have a representative you know what i mean and go through the terms and conditions and the clauses that they want to add in the prenup and they have to come to an agreement it's not like 
just like how you said, like she went back and mm-hmm. said, no, a million. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's, it's to come to an agreement. It's, 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 it is a safety net in a way because it's like, you know, say my relationship right now ended, right? I fucking blow up. I become a millionaire or whatever, mm-hmm. right? If wait, I date but, another wait, person, you, you I'm blow up and up. become a millionaire before, like during or after. What do you mean? Right. No, uh, so I say, see, I'm single right now, okay. and I and I blow up to be a millionaire. Okay. And then then I start dating and then getting into like this serious relationship. Yeah. I would definitely want to do a prenup. Yeah, that that's un- that okay. Obviously, we, I think that's understandable, and we we accept that. But I think, I think a lot of people when they think about prenups, they think about like when two people had nothing and mm-hmm. they they developed wealth together or one person developed a lot of wealth and was and was supporting or was the breadwinner you know so to speak and you had a prenuptial agreement because maybe uh you know the husband or the wife always knew that they would be going into something that made a lot of money mm-hmm. and so they had a prenup but then you know and then you the the marriage is dissolved and the one partner is left only getting a certain amount of money but they were used to a certain lifestyle when they were married right Right. so the thing with with prenups or and the thing with divorces is the the number one thing i always hear being said is that you know um especially when kids are involved is that you want to try and maintain the same lifestyle that Mm -hmm. you had while you were while you were married or you want to be able to still you know like it has to still be equal or or or, or in that way the kids so, shouldn't be living in squalor if, yeah you yeah. know but like that's, and yeah. that's not the life they're accustomed to that's right. not the life that they grew up in right right you know and that's what brings back to what i said but it's having your own representative when you have and doing terms and conditions right but yeah. it's different what you're talking about i think is a little bit different where it's like okay i had nothing but your the partner that you end up with might feel differently right like you may have started you may have been rich before you guys got together, but if you've been together for five years and he's now a bit grown accustomed to living a certain lifestyle, mm-hmm. he may feel entitled to half of what you have now. And having a prenup protects you from having to give him yeah. half. But I think the question is, is your partner entitled to half? If they don't agree to it, then obviously, to me, is it... Prenups can make or break a relationship because it's like now I'm looking at you as like you're really fighting for some money and th- that's why it just has to be talked about. Honestly, that's I'm going to just stick what I said. Terms and conditions, have your own lawyer and move move on. <laughs> the the worst, the, the, the thing about this is money changes a lot of things. Exactly. Money that's changes. Why, that's why that's people. Why prenups are important in certain situations. No. And I'm not talking about yeah. every relationship. Right. Yeah. You're right. No, you're right because I know for a fact that if I won the lottery right now, I'm going to change. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. I'm yep. going to be like, look, I'm not, I'm it's like, true. I'm, I'm, I'm going to win a lot more arguments than I'm used to. I just feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be that guy. It's just, but I, would I you split know. it down the middle with your wife? Well, you said, would I split it down the middle? Yeah. If like, you, if no, like, like I guys- agree with that. Like, if I'm coming into the relationship, we, we both, um, like me and my wife right now, if we, you know, uh, like living the way we live right now, you know, mm-hmm. if, if it's paycheck to paycheck, we're uh, middle class or whatever you want to call us mm-hmm. or whatever, barely getting by. And then after we're married, uh, after a certain number of years, we, we just hit the lotto. No, I feel like that's, uh, or we just hit it big on a business or something like that, or maybe this. Right. Up. I feel like that's a 50-50 uh, thing. Yeah. Because but what if you had a prenup beforehand, right? Uh, and it said they get a certain amount. That was that was predetermined based off of your value before you won the like money, if I right? Had, if I had everything like a bunch of stuff set up, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, like because I I am uh, I am also a divorcee, so knowing mm-hmm. uh, what I know now, if mm-hmm. if I still if I had the if I still had the same situation that I uh, financial situation that I had coming into my uh, my first marriage. Um, I probably would sign a prenup because um, I went mm-hmm. in there like 100% with love. Like I went overseas and I and mm. I was a, a contractor and I worked for the military as a contractor. Made a lot of money and and right. um, and let's just say that the uh, the house that that we built uh, together um, for our marriage it was you know the money the down payment the money for it really it came from all the work that I put in from before we even knew right. each other. 
and stuff right. like, but when i went into the marriage i didn't think like that i was i was mm -hmm. like if i'm taking her as my wife i'm a i'm 50 50 like what my what's mine is hers but then right. when we uh divorced she wanted like she wanted everything that like that was there before like from before mm -hmm. we even met which i was like right. i was like well what's wrong with just cutting everything down the middle 50 50 i mean i mean it's but that's right. not what that's not what she wanted. That's 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 eventually right. what happened. But it was like it, it was just a bunch of unnecessary fighting. Right. So I'm I'm on that that mentality. If you're going into it with, um, I guess it's a case by case thing. If you you kind of yeah. know the person, but if you don't, if you don't, if you have a if there's like the, that, if your spider senses are tingling, you're like. I got all this stuff from before I met him or her or whatever the situation is, and I need to. I might need to protect that just in case. I can understand that, but if you got it after you were uh, married, if that if that fortune came in in the middle of the marriage, I'm I'm gonna cut it down the middle 50-50 kind of. Okay, kinda that's guy. fair. That's, that's just, fair, and it makes sense too. And it makes sense. And like you said, with your experience with your um, ex-wife, it you went like, in. It's like Voldemort. We can't say their name. <laughs> Word. Uh, I hear I heard that. that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be like, they who shall not be named. <laughs> yes. I, it's like Beetlejuice. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's like Beetlejuice. You can't say it. Otherwise, I'll be yep. like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that mask will start moving right there. It'll be weird. <laughs> But uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, 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 me, me and my ex, we get along uh, now. Mm. But uh, mm. and she doesn't know this, and I know she doesn't watch my show, so I can say it. <laughs> but I, in my phone, I have there. I don't know if, if you ever watched the movie Iron Man Two. Yes. Um, there was a joke about a, 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 a weapon or a bomb that the the, the villain created. He uh, he said this bomb is uh, can cause total destruction. I call it the ex-wife. I have a picture of that <laughs> weapon that comes up on my phone <laughs> every time she calls me. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. The ex -wife. I love that. But, uh, <laughs> so I know, yeah, I know you, I know, uh, I know Margaret, I know you don't watch this show, so there you go. There you go. I confess. There you go. But no, I mean, but yeah, that's what that's uh, as watch. far as the prenup. Yeah, that, it depends on the situation. If you yeah. if you came in the situation, if uh, if she was rich and he was poor, or or whatever the uh, the, the, the dynamic is, uh, whoever was rich and whoever was uh, poor, the, the the person that has the money and maybe they come from money. You know, just like you were talking about yeah. with Sex in the City, that reminded yeah. me of, and I'm embarrassed to admit this. My uh, uh, my wife, uh, she got me. She's a nurse, and so she got me to uh, uh, watch all of Grey's Anatomy because she loves Grey's Anatomy. Oh yes! And that happened with the uh, the Jackson character. His mother wanted to protect her son from the wife that he was trying right, to take, right, and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. they wanted that. That same scenario that you ta that you talked about mm -hmm. was also in Grey's Anatomy. And she mm -hmm. was all like, "Look, I'm old school. I'm a religious girl. I don't care. Right. I'll sign it. I don't give a damn." And, yeah. uh, and that's you know and 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 that just made everybody else go you know what you know we can you know we can trust her she's not even if the worst happened i don't i don't feel like um it would be like a bitter divorce but at the same time uh, depending on what happened in a relationship things things can change i mean it could be all right exactly sometimes if, if he does something sometimes, or if yeah. she does something I, right we, that, you Sometimes know. you feel entitled to more because of your pain and suffering. You yeah. like, dang. Pain can mm -hmm. pain will change heart. a lot of what do they say? What's that line? Hurt people hurt hurt, hurt people. people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yep. I mean, whatever pain you cause, I'm like, I, what and what is it, what that other saying? Hell hath no fury. Like uh -huh. a, like a mm -hmm. like a woman that, that, like a woman that sees scorn. those dollar signs. <laughs> 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 No, I'm not yeah. But no, it's, uh, it's, it just depends on the dynamic. Like, like, um, mm -hmm. did George Clooney, like George Clooney, uh, married a, 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 a like what's considered a regular person? Did they have a, a prenup? I don't. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. They, that's... She got her own money though. Yeah, no, yeah. they do have. Uh, they do have a prenup, but she does have her own money. Okay. Like yeah. she is like. The thing is, she's one of those low key people that makes a lot of money, mm -hmm. but we don't really know about Drug her dealer. because. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. well, we don't, you know. La jefa, who knows? No. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but um, I'm just, no, but she does make her own money. So if anything, she was like, I'll sign this little, she was probably like, I'll sign this little prenup, but I'm going to be good without you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
go like, in. Like, you for know, all we you, know, she make more money than you. She's like, anything. yeah, I'll sign it, whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you, George. <laughs> like, when was the last time you made a movie? Like, whatever. <laughs> But I, but I guess like well I guess another example was I was looking up um, the, the Bezos now Jeff Bezos and oh, his wife yes they, they now Amazon came up like in the they were married before Amazon was even a thing mm-hmm. yes so mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. like I was when when I heard they were about to get a divorce I was wondering what was going to happen with that and when she when they divorced she instantly after the divorce settlement became the richest woman in the world. Yes, and, she did. And, she and did. then a few months later, that money that he that that she got, he got mm-hmm. right back. Yeah. Like he got right back. Like, How? Like yes, he's on his, he, his, his he is on his way grew. to a trillion dollars. Oh, you're talking about oh him oh, just that's right. like, like whatever the bill, yeah. like, like whatever Shoot. the billion dollars that that they, that they settled for and, and gave her that was like almost half their 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 income. He gave, yeah. You know, he, he settled. They they. But he. He got he got he's all of that back. He, a couple he of months ago. Wait, she she's giving most of it away. And she's yeah. giving she, most of it away. She's getting remarried. That's how you know it's blood money. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm like, in that loud. situation, I was thinking like he didn't care. He 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 could see the future because of the pandemic right. and the fact that Amazon was was in high demand because of the pandemic. He was yeah. I, he was probably thinking like, okay, I'll, hey, take take all that money. You're instantly the richest woman in the world now. Take that money. I'm gonna get it back in a couple months. And that's exactly yep. what happened. Yep. So, right. Like exactly. that, that's that was true, we, yeah. I was thinking like, damn, he ain't gonna, he's not gonna settle for that much money. And then when I when I when he did, I was like, damn, that's a lot of he, he, he knew. I thought he would he fight, knew. but he didn't. And I now I know why, because he knew. He knew. He was he like, knew. that's all right, that's petty cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Trump, Trump was the president. I'm gonna get that money back. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> you ain't paying no taxes. All of that, all taxes. Of that money is it. Just think of it as petty cash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Petty cash. Hey, take I this wish. petty cash. It's all right. And you can tell she, I don't think she even wanted it. She gave most of it away. She didn't, it's not like she kept it. She gave it most of it away to, yeah. to charity. She what just, he, she's uh, building like, so a life what, as a philanthropist. I, I forgot what happened. What happened in that relationship? What, what happened? What did he do? I'm sorry. I know I'm, 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 I'm I'll try to be fair and be like, any, like, it could be him. It could be her. But, but based I don't on that, it was something he did. I don't think they they say what it was that I think it I don't think the media has really covered what it is. I, I think we were just so focused on how much money he yeah. had. We just, saw, we just saw the billions. We were yeah. like, how are you gonna divide that? And um, <laughs> I'm about word. to do a video like, about the, um, the richest black uh, people in the in the world. I was I was surprised that the number of black billionaires uh, has jumped up because for a minute it was just it was just Oprah <laughs> for a while. Yeah. And now, yep. now, Everybody, like a bunch of people, is up there now. Kanye West is, yep. is, uh, is up there now, and, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So, it's, so Jay Z, right? That's, there, there's Jay-Z's another one. There. Did, they, did they have a prenuptial agreement? I think, if I remember correctly, I think they did have a prenup, and it's I, I read that it was ironclad. So there's no Who, like uh, Kanye. Yeah, for Kanye and, and Kim Kardashian. Kanye. Oh yeah, they definitely had a prenup. They, they had a prenup. Yeah, but they, they, even for I think each they were child to that she had her money at first. Right. They were trying to protect her yeah. money, and then he became a billionaire. So right. Uh, yeah. So what, yeah, what about yeah. that situation? The, what about but, that situation? You know, he was able where, to build where, where, his wealth. Say that again. And I was saying he was able to rebuild because he was broke. Yeah. While you know, so he was able to rebuild his wealth because she already had money. So I think now that he's a billionaire, he should. I hope that they did a post-nuptial agreement and I, they should be able to split think, it down the middle. Because, I don't think she cares. But I don't I mean, think Con- I, mean, I, don't I, think I looked up care. her net worth and she's almost a billionaire by herself. So yeah. I, I don't think she cares at this point. I don't think she cares. Uh, but, I don't think she cares. What about, you, what about you that, that situation? Like, what what if one spouse, let's say, okay, so let's say you were the person, the breadwinner or the person who made the most money and you came mm-hmm. into the relationship, you're like, I need to protect myself. And then, so, then in the middle of the relationship, then the other person, the, uh, it shifts. Then they're making a crazy amount uh, of more money, and the relationship gets rocky. It's heading to the divorce. What happens? What about that situation when the when the well, dynamic shifts? See, I want to say, I was like, if the if the moment the partner see it, I would have wanted to put together a postnuptial agreement. I know that sounds a little bit cold hearted to think like that, but if I came into it with a lot of money, mm-hmm. and then you then accrue a lot of money um, after the fact that we're married. And I know that as a result of the prenup, I wouldn't get anything if we if we broke up. Yeah, or because you yeah, I, because you thought you was all that in the beginning and exactly. now I'm all in. So I 
would have been <laughs> I would have been really upset. I would have been like, nah, let's do a post nuptial agreement so that we can we can decide like how to how to divide the assets, how to how to properly manage the finances. But isn't it isn't it already even distinguished in the prenup too for both parties? Like that depends on the prenup, right? So like Ali Wong said, yeah. right? At, in Ali Wong's comedy special, she <laughs> married. I'm glad I'm you're bringing this up. I'm bringing because it back up. I because I wanted I was like, ooh, you how am I gonna bring this it? up too? Yeah. So, because Ali Wong, she she in her comedy special, she talks about the fact that her her husband's family made her sign a prenup because he went to Harvard Business School, and you know the expectation oh, yeah. was that he was going to be remember, making a lot of money. I remember that on Netflix. I remember that, and then she yes. like, yeah, now she now she's blowing up. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, and so shit. now he gets nothing if they divorce. He because, gets nothing. Because right. that's he's what screwed. He wanted. Like they, they, there's a there's a saying in Hollywood: you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. Right. So that's, that's that what happens. Snap, snap. Like, look, snap, you got you got you you balling, you thinking you all that. I'm come. Oh, oh, my friend's gonna be mad. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name drop my my friend. But <laughs> don't have, do it. Don't do it. I have it. a friend named Mike that um, <laughs> that I'm known I'm known him for like damn it's been 20 years now. And when he got married, he, he married his uh, like his college sweetheart and everything like that. And and Mike, my, but he he has his, his this this way of thinking. And he goes, um, when we when we were younger, he was like, he's a, he's a black dude. And he's like, I'm gonna marry an Asian woman. Now this is his stereotype. He's like, I'm gonna marry an Asian woman because he thought they were more submissive or something like that. Uh -huh. Like his mm -hmm. girl, like like his wife is the sweetest person in the world i mean they they're not gonna ever get a divorce they are ride or die if if they ever got a divorce it's gonna be something he did let me just be honest right <laughs> if, if like like but but he's one of these brothers that he's not gonna do like like he's one of these guys that he came up uh pretty poor and he he uh got himself up to like uh, a good college degree and and financially independent and things like that so he knows where he came from and he he has a visual of what success looks like and he's, he's focused on that and he's never gonna go back so right but when i remember when he said that he was about when they were about to get married he's like i'm i'm making an llc because mm -hmm. if i ever get divorced she can only divorce me she can't you know uh -huh. divorce my company and this like like I don't know. I was thinking this was before I even met my first wife. I'm like, you're already preparing for the mm, divorce. For the worst. So right. it's like, so if in, that's why I feel like if if anything ever happens in their relationship, it's something he did. But uh, <laughs> he's set, right. But well, he's how, set. For, I'll give him. I'll give him this. He's he's very disciplined. So he's not uh -huh. doing anything to mess up his relationship. And mess up. He knows what he's got, and he doesn't want to lose it. So he doesn't. He doesn't party. He doesn't get in trouble. He doesn't do any any stupid stuff. But mm -hmm. but he but he still put himself in that position to protect himself. If right. if, if if like if he made the wrong decision or whatever like that. If something crazy happened and she wanted to leave him, he he was he is protecting himself. Like not with a prenup, but in a in a business kind of uh, sense too. Yeah, if she yeah. ever divorces but Having his him, business and his name separate. Exactly. He he, he right. separates everything. He gives her the world, but if it ever came down to if like one day she just went crazy and was like, I'm divorcing you for whatever reason or for no reason, whatever the situation is. He n now knows how to move money and things like that. It's like right. he's mm. got a fail safe. And Chris, what, I have a question. Did he watch that Michael Jordan documentary? I don't know. Me, the, me, me the that's, 20... my, that's my boy, but I, I don't talk to him every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, I, because... I, saw the doc, I saw the documentary, but what, what part of it did, did they talk no, about? No, I don't. Well, I don't know if they brought it up on the documentary or if I heard it from somewhere else. But and we brought this up in our podcast before. But yeah. Michael Jordan's wife. He didn't have her sign a prenup because they they grew like when they got together, he had nothing. Mm -hmm. Um did basketball all that stuff he was cheating on his wife oh yeah they got a divorce and his wife is a lawyer and this is where he messed up <laughs> <laughs> his wife is a lawyer and you're cheating on a lawyer and now y'all getting a divorce mm -hmm. and she now and every time you buy a pair of jordans she gets half of that money mm. <laughs> anytime you get anything jordan wise she gets half of that money yes, so because they built it together she she stayed with him through, through thick and thin through everything and 
Now, oh. now she's sitting. You know, she's sitting oh, lovely. She got shares of of she. Probably does. Oh, yeah. Michael, Michael Jordan is a, is an interesting topic because everybody yeah. loves the fact, like like you think of Jordan, you think of the shoes, you think of Space yes. Jam and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. Michael jo Michael Jordan has his his you know his flaws and people kind of because of how great he is on one, this side, people try to ignore, you know you know yep. all the other yes. things like like like, yep. like 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 probably like his ex wife and stuff like that. So, but yeah, yeah but that's a story I didn't I didn't even know of. But I'm I'm not gonna argue with you because I believe <laughs> it. I believe it because I know Michael Jordan was partying out of control and it's it's for some guys. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Like even with some, with some with some brothers, I'm like if um I'm like I love I, I love my I love my wife. I love my situation. I would never try to to harm it. But I know for a fact that if you were to bless me with like a crazy amount of money, you would probably have to keep an eye on me. Like, like there was a director <laughs> yeah. who was asked this question, like, what if you just, like, I forgot what the situation with the movie was, but it was some director or, or an actor or something like that. And I don't know his name, but, but I remember the story. He said, what if you just came up on like billions or whatever the crazy amount of money was, and the, it was an older man and he was like if i be, if i instantly out of nowhere became that rich he was like well i probably develop a cocaine habit he was that <laughs> honest it's like because that's because money will change you so i'm like i don't know what money, does, money change does change you. people and mm -hmm. that's that's um very important to note <laughs> when it comes to the prenups and having money exactly yes it personally does. but um can we get to the comments? Yeah, I, really I know we're running out of time, so I know you guys. Yeah, you guys got saying. a lot of comments about about this topic. So, can you share what what uh, what has been shared with you on your comment section about the prenup situation? Okay. So we one of my favorite one. things. So one of my favorite things is probably one that we've definitely touched on was, um, I would sign one and issue one, leave with what we came with. But if we built some, if we built some things during our marriage, then that's, D-A-S, that's different. Mm. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? that? You know that's my oh, best friend, that's Vanessa. <laughs> and then there was another one where um, your sister commented. She was like, well, yeah, if you gonna issue me a prenup, I'm gonna issue one back. Like, you <laughs> gonna get one too. Like, you protect your assets and I'm definitely gonna protect my assets. And I was like, mm-hmm, I oh, know that's Oh my right. God, that sounds like, if you gonna protect your assets, I'm gonna protect my ass. So, yeah. <laughs> basically, I mean a little bit though. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna read some that are like opposite. Mm -hmm. um, what she said, she said this is a very long. Oh, uh, it depends, but probably not. If we're in it, we're in a good, the bad, the ugly. Prenups make it a safety net to leave because you know you always have your share. When you both work for things together, it makes it kind of hard to leave because you know the work you've both put in. So you're more willing to work at it. Mm. Like I said, people can change. <laughs> yeah, because of the money. Because of the money, so. I know I would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we know, see, we know on, what on you would uh, do. This topic Wait. came up a couple of times on my end too uh, from an unrelated thing, but uh let's see uh, vince lorino mm -hmm. he says uh prenups are worthless uh she doesn't have a lawyer with her uh as she signed void oh god this guy wrote this kind of weird she doesn't <laughs> have a lawyer with her as she signs void she didn't want to but she knew she couldn't get married otherwise so she just signed it void oh okay i understand so uh, so he, yeah. this guy's saying that like these these things can be voided because uh, i guess mm -hmm. whatever the variable is those are you can you can like challenge a prenup after the fact that's right uh, yeah the, the judge feels that oh. the prenup isn't fair void so that's oh that's what he says, so. Okay. I, yeah. Gotcha. Sure. And it also depends on the state. I think that's also oh, something. You mentioned, yeah. yeah. It depends on what state you get married in too. Different yeah. states have different laws regarding divorce and how you split the assets. How, Sometimes how is New that York? Is New York a community property state? Oh, Honestly, you know no. I know I Texas is. is. I'm from Texas. It's like mm -mm, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so. It's a security oh yeah, problem. I know California is. Uh, no, no, I know well, the only is. the only one law that I am aware of is even if you're not married and you live together under the same roof for ten years, you're technically mm. legally married. That's so also if you've been, been married more than ten years, then she's uh, he or she is a, 
uh, your your spouse that you're divorcing is uh, is owed uh, uh, what is it? Is it alimony? Like after ten years or something? Yeah, like that? yeah. It's yeah. Something. There's another one that came in from Ice Forty Four on my on my side of it. Uh, you repeatedly said prenup. Prenup agreements are voided in the case of infidelity. A lot of people have been saying that on my side of it. Like, yeah, infidelity. yeah, same here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't, same. I don't, I, I know, I know why people think that, but I don't think that's true. Like, I'm gonna be. You like, have to have when, a clause when, for it. Yeah, when, it has to be a clause in the prenup. It has to be that, a clause. That, that, like that in a regular book. divorce, um, uh, infidelity does not. I mean, well, and let me just, I'm just speak for Texas. I know for infidelity does not weigh in on on if you're if you're getting a divorce it's, it's pretty much like you're adult so i'm like so what like okay she cheated mm. or he cheated or like oh whatever but that doesn't well we're, we're only focused on that like, if you have kids and things like that there's a bigger picture on uh, ah, gotcha. but i'm sure i'm sure it's different in other states but i know texas isn't isn't one of them uh it's a prenuptial agreements are voided in case of infidelity and only applies to assets that uh, the people had before they were married mm-hmm. no prenup allows for infidelity and none allow the man or woman to keep assets acquired during the marriage the people in Ber- uh in this comedian's routine this was a, a different video most likely did have a prenup and they would be useless to allow anyone to get away with cheating so a lot mm-hmm. of people think that that is based uh, on cheating. infidelity yeah is, is that, is that infidelity can change everything. I don't think so, but oh, uh, that's but for Texas, I know for, I, I think for Texas, it's not so much. I'm, maybe it's different in other states. Sorry, y'all, you y'all were talking and stuff like that and talking about infidelity. There was, uh so Catherine Zeta Jones, who is she married to? Martin Sheen. She has a really weird prenup with I think I believe it's Martin Sheen. I could be wrong. But her prenup is really weird. Like she has, like the clauses in her prenup, she has to stay a certain weight Whoa. that she gained. Yeah, that she came into the. Yes, like some of these prenup, like they're they ridiculous. What? Yeah, they and they can the do nerves. that. But then I think she retaliated with, "All right, well, if I adhere to all this, then God forbid, if you know, again, right. if we get divorced." And I follow all this, then you need to make sure I get paid this, this amount. Much. You know, yeah. it's, it's like yeah, it's right. something I, crazy I think I heard like about that. that. The Jones. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I heard about that. But the, uh, the question is got wives thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So there is it's just different. Everything is different. Mm-hmm. Like just what what type of clauses you put in it, and terms and conditions. Um, and, and what state you And what state? New York. It really just all depends. New York yeah. is a community property state. Just mm-hmm. we just looked that up. So okay. New York is a bit different. I think California is also different. I think you you get screwed in California. I yeah, in, in California, there's a there's a clause called I ain't playing no games. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna, you gonna, are you coming off that money? But yeah, I know that, that's, that's the. Uh, but, uh, I gotta oh. I gotta end it on that because we gotta. I, there's yes. some. Uh, I'm getting some knocks on the door uh, on on this. Yeah. But I, I love Heard I you. love this conversation. I appreciate you guys <laughs> taking the time to uh, to to holler at me and, and collab with me. And uh, if you don't, thank mind, you, thank you so much. much. Yeah, we appreciate you just hitting us up. And this was a great topic, actually. Yeah, yeah. This was a perfect topic. topic I'm not gonna to talk I'm about. not gonna lie. I'm I'm we gonna collab again. I don't of care. Course. What, yes. I don't care what y'all say. Me like right at, at at this moment right now, y'all all three of y'all are my new play sisters. And I got, yeah. I got your, I got y'all's back like a uh, like a chiropractor right now. Like we going <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody that we we go back like big crayons and big coloring books. That's what. That's what <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, yes, we do. I love, mm-hmm. I love, I love this conversation. But yeah, I gotta have you guys on the show. And if, if I can ever join you on yours, de- definitely. Of course, yes, of course. We will definitely, definitely contact you. This was an amazing um, experience. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Ooh. We'll we'll do it next. Oh, no, I appreciate you. And right. I'm gonna, uh, so let me let me close the show off because I think my wife is knocking on the door. She's like, well, "Who the hell y'all talk? Who you talking to?" I can't tell you that I'm talking to. I can't tell that I'm talking to three ladies that claim to be more than vagina. Like, what? What, what, what do you mean more? I'm like, look, hey, hey, look, they said it. I didn't. I I didn't sample nothing. Nah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but this is uh, Chris. This is talking to me. These guys. Uh, I, I was with. 
uh, the three ladies from more was it more than vaginas podcast go check them out if you guys yeah. if you follow me go follow them go check them out on the, their podcast Thank you. and on their uh, on their channel and follow them on on their social media and if you got if you guys want to take the time let's let uh, my followers know where they can find you online uh, well, you can find us on IG. We are More Than Vaginas. And you can um, check us out on YouTube, More Than Vaginas. And we are in all the platforms for podcasting. So you can check us out there, too. Outstanding. Uh, is there any, is there like any individual like uh, Instagrams or anything like that that they can find you on or just? Oh, <laughs> we so private. We are like, we nah. all, we, all, we, all, we not ready. We not ready for that, Chris. We, we not ready for that. We not, not, not ready for that. You can find me at Chris Fagan 1980 on Instagram and Twitter <laughs> or at T3 Media's. You can find me. Go check out More Than Vaginas. Every time I hear them say More Than Vaginas, I always go, mm. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Go yes. check them out. And, uh, and guys, put it in the box below. Let us know what you guys think about this topic. Share your thoughts. Yes, and then definitely. maybe we'll talk about it again on another episode of Talking to the Media. So we got your mail. And so until next time. Yeah. Yay. Talk yes. to you soon. Yes. Bye. 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 If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please drop a like on this video. It really does help us. Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, why is that trending, or we got your mail.